What is up guys, Minibean75 here, and today I am back with another episode of Minecraft Creations, and this guys is going to be the Survivor Series 2003 Arena. I am so excited to show you guys this. This, in my opinion, it was one of the best events WWE ever held. Um, so let's take a look at it, guys. Here is the stage. I think it looks absolutely awesome. As you guys can see, we've got the ambulance there. That was when uh, Kane versus Shane McMahon uh, in that ambulance match, which was absolutely awesome. And then we had Vince McMahon versus The Undertaker in the Buried Alive match. This was the last we saw of the uh, American badass Undertaker. Um, just a phenomenal pay-per-view, in my opinion. So much went down. The storylines were just unbelievable. We had the uh, Survivor Series matches, and we had the one where it was Stone Cold. It was Stone Cold's team versus Eric Bischoff's team. Just a phenomenal freaking pay-per-view. So let's take a look at the stage, guys. Like I said, I think it looks absolutely awesome. Here is the... Um, stage itself basically they kept it all on the floor obviously because they had the uh, uh, ambulance and they had the buried alive match section there with the backhoe and everything like that this basically this circle here what the this whole setup here is the was the survivor series logo basically we had the uh, the screen here that basically showed the superstars uh, entrances and stuff like that and then these two outside almost look like parentheses basically that kind of came out from that these were actually like a cloth and basically that's why I have them the tan they were a cloth that basically then they had lights behind it that would change colors depending on what was going on so and then down here right in the center we've got just some scaffolding that had the circle this did have the WWE logo It was kind of weird the WWE logo it was kind of like it almost looked like you would have. I would have had to build it like this way, but yet it still um, was kind of at an angle. It was kind of weird, but basically they had that there, and then we had the uh, Titantron screen here in the back that would show other, you know, other things when they came out. We had a couple big lights there, and then yeah, we've got the buried alive section here. If you want to see how to build the buried alive match, head down into uh, into the description. I'm gonna put my uh, video that I did a while back on how to build the Buried Alive match in the description. And then um, I also did a video on how to build the ambulance match. So the same thing, I'll put both of those links in the description so you guys can check those out if you have not watched those yet. Um, and then, yeah, over here we've got the backhoe. I think the backhoe turned out pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty basic for the most part. It's just you got the big wheels, you've got the backhoe section, and then here is where the dirt would have been. Because at the very end of this pay-per-view, Kane comes back out throws the Undertaker in the hole, and then, um, you know, makes the bat basically turns on the backhoe, and the backhoe fills it up, and the, we all thought the Undertaker was dead, which, and then he ended up coming back at WrestleMania 20, um, back with the dead man um, persona, which was absolutely awesome, so, and then here we've got our overhead ring lighting, very similar to what we're used to seeing, um, this is that reverse spider that we've seen before, um, we've got the lighting fixtures and everything there. The ringside area, very similar to what we've seen before. This was when um, they had the Raw announce table up here, which I always thought was weird. But when it comes to building these arenas, it's cool just because it's nice to be able to put it, you know, a little something different on it. Um, but yeah, so here's the arena, guys. I think it looks absolutely awesome. Let me head down here and we will turn on the intro pyro for the show. And as you guys can see here, we've got a kind of a cluster of just uh, white and blue fireworks that are shooting off there right in the center. That's basically how they had it set up um, for the rear one. They also did have fireworks that shot off around here, but because of this arena, of how big this arena is, I just there was no way I could really do it. And for time constraints so that I could get this video out to you guys, I decided not to. So I still think it looks absolutely awesome. I've done... Um, you know, I've done fireworks from up there before. They're kind of cool depending on the arena, but the the roof is just, it's too high. You know, I mean, it just, you you would be able to tell that they were set up there. Because in reality, the fireworks should be shooting off um, around here rather than shooting off somewhere up here. So anyway, guys, I think it looks absolutely awesome. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. You have no idea how much that helps me out. If you want to see some exclusive content and other behind-the-scenes videos, head down in the description to my Patreon account. For literally as low as a dollar a month, guys, you can see some awesome exclusive content that only the people who help support me are going to get to see, plus a couple extra t uh, tiers of absolute awesomeness. Do you want to get shouted out? you want to take a look at it, or do you want to join our Minecraft uh, community builds that are going to start taking place as soon as we have some people join that tier, head to that Patreon account and you can take a look at it. You can make some videos with me, or get your channel shouted out, or just watch some of my behind-the-scenes footage, you know what I mean? Um, everybody likes extra footage, so other than that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.